Hey everyone, welcome to From the Depths, I'm Menti, and this is episode 2 of the No Holds Bar Tournament, and no, you are not seeing things. This is a swarm of chicken drumsticks. This is completely, totally ridiculous. Not exactly the kind of ridiculous I was expecting. Help me fix the textures. There we go. Just quick double tap of the pause button. Ah, uh, those are chicken drumsticks. Charchardon didn't give me a name to go with it, so I'm just calling this the Wrath of the Colonel, because... Yeah. Of course I am. Why am I not? Just... <laughs> I don't even know what to say to these. This is ridiculous. This is silly ridiculous. I, I was expecting, like, ridiculous and completely broken things, not ridiculous silly. But hey, you know what? I'm amused. This is funny. I wonder if we'll manage to, to, uh, to win anything. There's not a whole lot to them. They're all identical little drumsticks there. Uh, it seems like their, their weapons are missiles, and it flies around. We'll see what they do. There's not a whole lot for me to introduce here, other than they are a bunch of missile-armed flying chicken drumsticks. <laughs> Over here, we have the Dumbo by... Um, Shoot, I've forgotten your name. Draba! There we Yeah, there we go. I remember. <laughs> and it is a... Uh, it's a flying shoe box. As these uh, particularly efficient and powerful designs tend to be. Judging by the, uh, the beams on the side here, it is a laser-based craft. It's got a wedge of heavy armor for its frontal armor. Just a single layer of it. Yep, laser right there. Really big laser. Holy crap, that is a huge laser. AI in the back here. Engines, it's really hard to actually see anything in this craft because it is very compact. There is no... There's no space. There's no space anywhere at all inside this thing. It is just a box holding laser parts with a laser and armor strapped, strapped to the front of it. Quite a powerful weapon. Got some jets on the sides for... It has no... It has no... Uh, propulsion to make it go forward that I see. Oh, is it going to be one of those things that flies backwards and kites away from its enemy? <laughs> Could be. Could be. Oh, does it have a lambs? Yes, it has a lamb system. So, I have a feeling these flying drumsticks are not going to do very well against this. Unfortunately, it looks like the, uh, it looks like Char Char on silliness will only go one round here. Uh, that, that's what I'm guessing. Because that looks like a craft that has actually been made optimized and is attempting to win while well, this is just a silly bucket of chicken. <laughs> so anyway, enough of my rambling. Uh, I've introduced these things as nuts enough as I can. Let's get this first round underway and see what happens. Uh, I'm really see interested to see they, they just fly everywhere. Just a bunch of chickens, all kinds of missiles. That one exploded already. <laughs> I don't know if it like hit itself, it was a collision, if it ran into its own missile, or ow! No, I think it's I think they're getting lasered. Oh, a bunch of them ended up in the water down here. I spawned them rather high, as requested by Char Charadon, but uh, well, the Dumbo's a bit far away right now. Hold on, let me go ahead and pause here. Get over here. I want to see because the drumsticks are trying to chase it. Okay, restart, restart the clock. But it is backing away, and it is backing away rather quickly. Oh man, that would be hilarious if the drumsticks ended up winning because uh, it the Dumbo flies out of range. No, but it has one opponent in range, and that's all you need. As long as you have one opponent in range, you are legal. Um, I'm not sure how to call some of those drumsticks that aren't exactly flying towards this thing, though. Just, I don't know how I'm supposed to keep track of all of that. <laughs> I may have uh, made an oopsie in the design of this tournament. Oh, now everything's out, out of range, but it's getting back into it now. And, ooh! Actual missile strike actually got in. Didn't seem to do much, though. Nope, Dumbo's 99%. It just shrugged that missile strike off. And it's moving in. 
And I think a lot of these ones that are getting out of range are ones that are not flying towards the enemy. So... Like those ones over there are probably the ones that are out of range right now. Because it is actually pursuing its enemies now. So it must have some internal data blade. Yeah, it has some internal data blades. Okay, so that's how it, it maneuvers. Yeah, that missile strike was interesting because it came in on the side of the Dumbo. Where it's, I don't think it's laser warners could see them. So the lambs couldn't shoot them down. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you know what? KFZ drone. Oh, jeez. Charge hard on. You are, you are silly. <laughs> yeah, the heavy armor is taking the, uh, the hits from these missiles with ease. Yeah, I really, I really feel like, uh, at this point, all of the ones that are out of range have been so for over a minute, and they've been out of range because of their own flight patterns, not because of the, the Dumbo. The Dumbo is actually pursuing its targets, and the one that it is specifically fighting gets in, stays in range, but the other ones are not flying properly. <laughs> oh, jeez. Just listen to that laser go. Just... I don't know why there's no beam anymore. There used to be a laser beam. Maybe that maybe uh Draba turned that off or something, or maybe I have a setting wrong from the updates or something. I don't know. The lamps still have a beam. I don't know. Oh, that was another instance of the uh the missile warner not being able to see the target, I think. Yeah. I'm gonna ha- like, yeah, this is definitely a victory for the Dumbo. I can't in good conscience say that it lost, because it has utterly annihilated the KFZ drones at this point. And while there was some range issues there, there were just way too many enemies for me to even hope to keep track of what was going on. The, but the, the Dumbo is not having problems actually keeping its enemies in range. It is quite maneuverable, and it is uh, keeping its enemies... You know, it's moving towards its enemies. It's not uh, kiting them too hard. So all of the out-of-rangeness, I think, was caused by the KFZ drones themselves. Because they, they don't seem to be maneuvering properly. They're just kind of flying around. Until the Dumbo picks them off, man, that that range, that laser has some range to be able to hit that small of a target that consistently at this at this distance. That's pretty impressive. One hell of a laser. So yeah, I'm not going to call any disqualifications for range there. And like it is, it's clear the Dumbo won here, and it won it legit. So I'm going to give the victory here on the round one to the Dumbo. That seems like the fairest call here. For sure. So I, I don't think it was really at fault for much, if any, of the outranging. So the targets that it was actually shooting at j tended to be in range. And that's it, folks. Wrath of the Colonel, or the KFZ drones, whatever you want to call that absolute crazy silliness, has been defeated. So, uh... go ahead and get these guys spawned back in. Ouch. That just... <laughs> oh, jeez. When I first saw that, I was just like, Char Char, I don't want to done. What have you done? <laughs> but anyway... Whoops, wrong button. I was just a, just fat fingered it. <laughs> All right, get the clock reset. Get round two underway here, which I imagine will go much the same as uh, 
Round one. Oh, and there's a KFZ drum blowing up from laser fire. Oh, some of them are running into each other. These ones seem to, on the side, actually seem to be charging toward their enemy. The, uh... The Dumbo is backing off, keeping its distance, and just lasering the crap out of them with a really accurate, really high-powered laser. Man, I hope you folks smoked your, your craft, or, uh... If you didn't, I think this, the, uh... The Dumbo here is going to have a very good chance of winning if there's no smoked craft out there. I'm sure there is, though, just... Somebody out there thought to smoke their ship. Had to have. Oh, for a second there, it looked like it had taken a whole bunch of damage, but the blocks just needed to load in. Yeah, this, this match is going much the same. It backed off from the ones that were chasing it, but it is actually in range of the one it is shooting at again. So, the Dumbo was clearly functioning properly in attempting to play within the rules while the, uh, the KFZ drones are kind of being weird and, I mean, well, chicken legs weren't exactly meant to fight. <gasps> Ooh, those were some good hits though, that could have done some damage. Oh, is the, uh, oh, the, whatever, the outer blocks got repaired, but is the, uh, Dumbo locked in a spin? Yes, it seems to have gotten itself into a sp nope, it, it's recovered. Yeah, these distance, like, there's no way I can keep track of all of these. <laughs> this is just chaos. So as long as the, the ships are trying to p p behave, or to behave and play by the rules, I'm just gonna have to, to deal with that. Because there's just like, how long has this one been out? I don't know. How long has this one been out of range? I have no idea. But they are all out of range of the Dumbo, all of them are, but the Dumbo is moving forward, but now it's moving back again, and it's not in range of anything. Hmm. Technically, since it did move away, it has helped create this situation, but I can't exactly fault it if I'm not going to fault the KFZ drones, because... This is just chaos. I'm just gonna have to throw the range qual disqualifications out the window and watch the drumsticks explode. <laughs> For this match. I just, I can't. Yeah, folks, I'm just... I, I'm about ready to just call this in favor of the Dumbo because, uh... It does not seem like the KFZ, KFZ drones are really functioning properly. They're not flying towards the enemy. They're kind of just wandering off out of range. They aren't very effective. Uh, they're funny, to be sure. But... I don't think... Th it's like, I don't think that they can really beat the Dumbo here. And... Like, the Dumbo was... It, like, it's trying to get in range. Like, it's trying to get in range right now. And then it ends up blowing them up. And then it targets a different one and it leaves range. Yeah, I'm... This one... Even though the range thing is a bit of an issue, and in other episodes when I can actually keep track of what's going on when there isn't, you know, like 30 chicken drumsticks flying around, I'll definitely be more on top of that, but as it stands, I just, I have to give the victory here to the Dumbo. Like, it, it would not be at all fair for me to go with any other thing here, because it is trying to fight properly, and if the KFZ drones were staying in range themselves, the range thing wouldn't be a problem, but they're flying off into nowhere. Like, these were behind the Dumbo. Like, if anything, those should be disqualified. So, yeah, congratulations, uh, Draba. Your, uh, your Dumbo will be moving on to the next round. I'm giving you the, the W here, even with the, uh, the little range issues, because I don't think they were 
entirely the uh, the Dumbo's fault. I think it had more to do with the KFC drones. Uh, at, at best, it was 50-50. Like, you know, half your fault, half their fault. So, the fact that you, despite the range issues, your craft is still tearing them up, tearing the, uh, the chicken legs apart. I, I, I just have to give you the, the win here. Oof. Missile hit to the side. Didn't really do much. So, yeah. It's flying at a really odd angle. It's like flying diagonally. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway. Condolences, Char Charadon, but I think you kind of expected this. I really don't think. If you expected those chicken wings to win, <laughs> this has to be a joke entry. I mean, come on. There's a bunch of chicken wings. <laughs> oh, man. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the battlefield.